This week on the Weekly Commentary, we've narrowed our focus to talk about one thing, precious metals. We brought on an expert, Roy, who's been trading the metals daily for 30 years, actually over 30 years. And our focus is on the short-term trend, not necessarily the longer-term trend and the ultimate trajectory of the metals markets. But we look at some of the fundamental drivers coming into the end of this year, and as we transition into 2012, some of the macroeconomic as well as political factors that will affect the gold market. The political issues are twofold. One, here domestically we have the elections, which will keep things a bit in limbo. What is not in limbo from a geopolitical standpoint is the tension growing between Israel and Iran. That he expects to be an issue as soon as 2012. On the economic side, we have Europe, of course, and he expects to see one of the member countries fall out, that having an immediate negative impact to the gold market with the price roaring back by year end. And the second issue being QE3, which is likely to be announced in the first quarter of 2012. These issues are ultimately constructive to the metals market, and he expects to see over the next five years an average gain of between 10 and 12 percent to the gold price. These elements, among others that we discuss in this week's weekly commentary, he considers to be very constructive to the price moves in gold, taking us ultimately to 3,000 or 3,500 an ounce uh, by the year 2015, uh, even 2016. So for that and more, join us this week for our weekly commentary.